This is like um, a cave. <laughs> What do you mean? Local money makes you smile like this. Local money makes me smile like this. <laughs> this is so creepy. Like we're just coming to this elevator that's carved in the rock. This is a legit dungeon. None of your haters can get you. That's what we can find. <laughs> So what do you think so far? I think it's dope, but I think that you should, if I walk up here, I should get like a steak. <laughs> so you're ready for a steak? Yeah. You want bison or beef? I don't have to go all the way back to where we're from to get bison. Okay. Unless you know replacement. I don't eat everybody bison. <laughs> <laughs> I want my Tana Grill type bison. Like, yeah. Well, let's look up to the most, the best we're eating. Steak out there. Steak they should have. Yeah. And we're going to see if we can get one with like a view. Something a little bit dope. So that way we can make this a epic vlog. And then we'll talk per about usual. it. We'll talk about it at the end of the video and talk about our visit. There are some smaller ones over here. Did you see the video? Yes, Don't forget to Is it oh, work? It. I don't know. You bought some. Oh, yeah. Pretty. Did you bring a Me some little gemstones and my llama, so we're making our way back down. Jumping off. Oh my god, they are jumping off! Stop, I gotta hold on. Whoa, okay, so clearly, next time we're gonna go zip lining. You down? That's a weight restriction, I'm too big. I'll watch you though. He always try to so get out of something. Jumping up the airplane, you got to do that on your own again. I'm like, wait a minute. I wish I could go. Oh. So basically, bucket list. We're gonna make sure that he's at the right capacity, weight wise, no, to I'm, do. I'm <laughs> to... Like <laughs> this is called boost oxygen for high altitude when and... you do extreme climbing. And anywho, so this thing is peppermint flavor. It's for. Aerobic performance, recharge and recovery, altitude and poor air quality. And it's pocket size. So they have a bigger bottle than this. This is something you just, I guess, if you're hiking or on a trail for the day, um, you would get this, but. We probably can find the regular bottle down the mountain cheaper. Oh yeah, that's nice. I like this. This is. We should have had that when we first came to the state. Yeah, because <laughs> we were struggling. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so we're going to find the best restaurant that we can find. And uh, I worked on an appetite. Me too. Yeah. Like I'm definitely steakish. I want a spot of uh, potato skins. A little bit of macaroni, which is a double uh, starch redundant, but it's okay. <laughs> double starch redundant, I like well, that. Um, also, I don't know why I'm feeling cheesecakey, buttercream, buttercream. <laughs> like, let's put a dead animal on you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, all right, little Kim, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Spicy, spicy. I like that. <laughs> a total sidebar. Can we just get into my llama real quick? 
Is that not the cutest little thing ever on planet Earth? Look at that. Ridiculous. Dogs are end up swallowing it. No, it's not. Don't say that. This is very nice. So, back in the trinket box it goes. steakhouse is not open right now um they open up at four but we're gonna have lunch here but oh my god i would have loved to have a table right here and just see this i know it looks amazing at night when the sun goes down so next time we'll do a part two to this and come right back to this exact place and actually get the true experience from it so oh i just wish that we could have been dining here but the room is not open, so we have to go to the tack room, um, which is basically for the golf members. Um, so we're gonna check out that menu and see what it tastes like. I think it's so far. The water is good. <laughs> <laughs> it's French water. It's French water. Yeah, they bottle it and then they like send it over here, put French spices in it, let it sit, <laughs> and then you get French water. So you used to like American yes. water. <laughs> When did you become so bougie? What do you mean? Is it because you're a local? Local. <laughs> you get, your tongue gotta fall out. Local. Right, so the first course we have is steak bites. So, yeah. This looks awesome. Grow vegetables on arugula and grape tomatoes. So, there you have it. <laughs> It's like a, I, it's familiar. Like that's I can it. literally taste that they had like a European cut grass in the guy. Some European cut grass, irrigated. It's very good. It really is. It's amazing. Like, yeah. Can it, I get my I, thumbnail, please? Uh, I was trying to get it where. All right, you got it. But send it's, it to me though. Mm. See, I don't think they understand. Hold on. Y'all understand this. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
<laughs> both fingers, both hands on the one. Delicious, delectable. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I'll take this part. Okay. Oh. In fact, you are you done with this, babe? Yeah, okay. Oh, I'll start with this. Yes, okay, yes. Perfect. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Is there anything else I can grab? Everything looking good? Yeah. Excellent. Thank good you. Hear. Enjoy. All right. Thank you. Thank that you. looks amazing. All right, so they split the prime rib for us. We got sweet potato fries. These are pretzel knots. So what are these? This, so this is like a spicy mustard, and that's probably like a Dijon mustard. So we're about to dig in. That's what you get. structure of being home but 
Uh, now that we have gotten to a place where, like I said, we have contingency set up, you know, we knew what we were looking for, we knew exactly what we were looking for. Multiple streams of income. Multiple streams of income. Um, being local is not so bad, you know. Um, I do know there's plenty of people that have great uh, intake into what local jobs to get and, and things of that nature, and those are perfectly fine, but overall, as a lifestyle, local is pretty dope. You know, OTR is, I'm glad I did it. Yeah. Because I can say I did it when it breaks down. I know, I know what I've done. I know a great deal about the country. I know a great deal about driving in the country. Yeah. And I have a, 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 a crap load of skills that help and that transfer over. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not scared of any weather to drive in. I'm not scared of chaining. I'm not scared of backing. I'm not scared of none of that. Yeah. You know, I've I've done four four or five times what the average person does. So it's all it's it's all love. And and I also had a chance to build a business. I've had a chance to do my um credit. So when I come back, I just breeze and do whatever I want to do. When everybody's waiting on their check, I'm not just waiting on this check. Really, it's about the benefits to me. You only got the time to think of it. Yeah, because you're working so hard. Just me having all of my paperwork in one place is great, and yeah. not losing stuff. Stuff is all over the place. Never having time to go to the DMV. Yeah. Never having time to call in for taxes. Never having time to go to the doctor. Never. Yeah. Like I'm looking forward to all of that. Because how are we gonna do that? I mean, I know, like on the road, they had like. A TA or <laughs> a federal, the Billy little, the little balls. yeah, the little guy that does your DOT uh, medical certificate, or he'll check you out. But the truth is, you don't want to go there. You want to go to a, a a primary physician, someone that gets to know you, someone you can grow with, you can trust, um, you know, and not have to go through the whole. I guess the scenario of your medical records being chauffeured around every place, it, it just, trucking was not feasible for someone that reached the next level of their life. You get to a certain level of your life where you're like, okay. Yeah, when you get older, it's time for you to get the six month checks. Yeah. You know, yeah. you got to get your uh, teeth cleaned and checked yeah. every six months. Yeah. You know, you got to do the cholesterol checks. You got to do all that type of stuff. You something you don't feel good. You gotta, you just gotta go get checked, and you don't want it to cost you a amount of money to do it. Now, I don't have a deductible, yeah. and if I do, it's like ten bucks. <laughs> oh yeah. So it's oh, it's yeah. one of those things where, um, that's what I was uh, that's what I was going for, yeah. and I achieved it. We double achieved it because you got got a place that did it too. Yeah, absolutely. Like we're um, you know, in a position where um, our goals aligned. Know, and we have a great we just have a great plan and the plan uh, executed very well there were times it was like Ooh, but to be honest with you I mean that's life you know we stayed at it stayed steadfast and now you know the smile that we have because the worries we couldn't fake it if we wanted to <laughs> just the worries it's like I just don't have 90 worries when I wake up in the morning no no you know if my truck don't start I'll take my motorcycle like, I don't yeah. I'm not in the position to, to, to be worrying that bad. Do you remember like that first week or two weeks where just um, the conditioning from OTR. So like I remember one time I woke up and I was in a panic because I'm thinking I was late for the load. I'm like, oh, I'm late. The only thing you late for is your scone <laughs> at your favorite coffee place. <laughs> I mean, the I tell you, OTR puts a... It puts a, a, stress, on a stress on you. And once but I you, feel like it needs to be done. It's a rite of passage. You got to yeah. get it done if you want to have a if you want to have a serious driving career where you're well rounded. You know yeah. they, they can't throw a trailer at me. They can throw an end dump at me. I can do it. They can throw a tanker at me. I can do it. They can throw a box oversized. I can do it all. Yeah. Absolutely. And they look at me as someone that can do it all. Yeah. So that mattered in my hourly rate. That mattered in what jobs I get. That mattered in who listens to what I say. So yeah. it definitely, it was definitely worth it doing it. Yeah. So I know y'all look at it and be like, well, if you're not doing that right now, I shouldn't do it. That's not what I'm telling you. You got to crawl before you walk, young buck. <laughs> <Let's>, <laughs> right. Like you, you got to run. You know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is. You got to learn what you're doing. That'll put you in all the situations for you to, uh, you know, get it together. If you can't do that. You know, you can start a Coca-Cola, I guess. 
get that four hundred dollar <laughs> check a week or whatever you're gonna do. But it's up to you. <laughs> Let me tell you something. But at the end of the day, do what you want to do. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just here talking to you about what I'm doing. Yeah. That doesn't mean you should do anything. You yeah, do well, what you want. I think uh, common sense come into play, which is not really common, right? But common sense looks at it like this. We're telling you this because in your path to whatever you want to do, you should hear all facets of it. You should hear all sides of it. When, you know, you first start out, there's a reasoning or a mindset you have then. When you get a little bit of experience, it changes. And then when you reach a pinnacle, when you reach where you want to go and it pivots, either you want to continue or you want to do something different, you know, there's a difference of mindset there. So uh, that's the whole point of a journey. You know, it's not the destination, it's the journey. It's you realizing certain things about yourself, understanding your weaknesses a little bit better and working on them, understanding your strength a little bit better. And OTR will strengthen you for the long haul. Whether it is you're going to get a fleet, you're going to go lease, you're going to go local. OTR at that time, whether it's two years, three years max, or however long you want to do it, but at least two years, will strengthen you a thousands fold thousand times old because yeah, you'll hear these local dudes complaining and you'll yep. be like man shut up I had to drive nine hours oh, today yeah that's the funny shut thing. up they're like man they gonna work you what you mean man you gonna have to do one round and it's gonna be 40 minutes <laughs> and in the dirt it be two loads of dirt <laughs> like, what, what? <laughs> aren't are we supposed to pick up dirt that oh, ain't the point though oh what about this one well, you you can't really even take a break. Right. You can't really take a lunch. But isn't there like six minutes on each turn for you to sit still? Yeah, yeah but it ain't no full thirty though. Man, it's all mine for twenty twenty five. Right. I'm like, oh okay. And I have to reach down all the way yeah. and push the dump button. And, like, you know, and it was okay. Funny, I, I try not to be disrespectful to the ones prior, so I'd be like, oh yeah, it's so hard. Yeah. Oh, so they don't feel bad. I mean, I'm <laughs> passing out right now. <laughs> I'm not even up. Like, I don't want to die. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, I, who knew? Who knew? <laughs> I mean, this finger, I have to ice it because it's <laughs> pushing that PTO button to kill you. Like, I know a guy that reached over, hit the PTO button, and had a heart attack. <laughs> and that's because of the PTO button? You guys, like, you got to be, be careful. Be careful, yo. So, you saying the PTO button was so stiff? <laughs> that he died. I'm sorry. That fool died. That fool died. Okay. I'll try to stretch first. <laughs> but no, I mean, listen, local. <sighs> I will say this because I don't have a problem saying this. Local is for um, a person. It's the reward after you did the OTR. Right. It will make sense as to why you did it because you are structured. You are um, groomed. You have the stamina to take on you know, a workload and go home and get into a, a good synergy, a good rhythm. Um, it's definitely, like I said, it's for live men, not for freshmen. Local is no joke. So don't think that again, because you see a smile and it's going to be easy. It's really not. It's a different animal. But because, like I said, you have the conditioning with OTR, you can deal with inclement weather, you can deal with adversity you know, all together. Basically, yeah. So now your whole, your whole, tackle of it is going to be completely different um, from OTR but it, it has its rewards like I said one of them being health benefits life insurance getting to go home getting to go home eating good um, going on little retreats like this yeah you know and it does it's more cost effective this way because on OTR you are going to different places but that hotel bill that Toro bill eating out here there it, it costs it will run you up a check all it's going to cost us is the gas. Yeah, we really uh, did very well in comparison to how it was. So yeah, this um, would have been an easy $1,400 weekend yeah. once you put up the hotels, oh, yeah. the food, the car, and all this other stuff. I now think we may have made spent $200 a night. Or the weekend, yeah. rather, 200 for the weekend. Yeah, we'll call it two, three hundred dollars Yeah, considering. Consi yeah, and, and it's like, I just go home and go to sleep. Yeah. And we're not worrying about driving two, three hours away from the house because we're not a drive. So it's not a deal. Because I'd rather drive than give you that hundred dollars to stay at your hotel. True. And for you not to even have all your services open. Oh, is it that 
Right. I'm giving you $150 to stay at the Ritz Carlton, but y'all ain't got no room service because of COVID. Let me tell you something. That is one of the reasons why we got off OTR. If I heard another place tell me, you can't use the gym, you can't use the pool, you can't use the hot tub, no room service, no, you can't park here, you got to come in at this way. But it's too dirty. But it's two hundred three dollars. Why night. is it two hundred thirty? Because it's almost filled up. But none of the services are open. <laughs> Why wouldn't I just go to Holiday Inn and give them eighty bucks? <laughs> I'm lost. At what you talking about here? Like I incidentals, two hundred dollars in incidentals. Take resort, thirty days to get back. Resort to the, fees. Resort so. fees. Oh. But the resort's not open though. But we still have the fees. <laughs> but it's not open. But the, the fees are there, sir. Sir, the fees. The fees. Like, you know what? You know what? Y'all y'all done did it. Yeah, I'm used to going to Ritz Carlton. I give me a stand and a lobster. Uh, I answer the door of my drawers. Embassy Suites. Bro, sir. Man, oh, can't do none man. of that now. They have smooth tail. Our kitchen is shut down. <laughs> so, better hit that McDonald's, pimping. Oh, that uh, whack. Oh, uh, what is it? That, like, store that we at the... <laughs> right here, gotta get that wooded the noodles. What, what room number are you in? <laughs> Screw you, lady. I'm eating noodles and noodles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not happy about life. I'll just take it upstairs with me. Like, right. Don't move a muscle, ma'am. Like, make it seem like a good thing. Yeah, that little cafe that be in the hotels are the worst. Like they, they don't they even charge. have like fresh food in there. It just be Marie Calendar, Popeyes, right. six dollar Stouffer's <laughs> lasagna. You, you, you charging me two eighty nine. For for oodles and noodles, and I can get a case of twenty five from Walmart for three dollars. <laughs> so that's the real reason why we yeah went. <laughs> seven dollar Fuji waters and shit. Like, what do you mean? We went local because they had lost their mind thinking you gonna keep using that COVID excuse. Right. To charge them I'm going off. home, bro. <laughs> I'm going home. I don't go in my own kitchen and be like, oh, COVID <laughs> can't have bacon today. Really good day today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. It's been a long time since we've done like an actual vlog vlog. Um, hopefully there's more to come and stuff. And um, yeah, that's it, man. Go local after you do OTR for a couple of years and see how it fits. And you got anything to say to you, man? Go to bed. <laughs> after the game, we got to play the game. Twitch, go subscribe over to Twitch. Come join us on Discord. Um, if you guys are into gaming and stuff like that. And it's free to sub if you use your Amazon account. Oh yeah, Amazon Prime allows you to be free. So that's for all the people that's making what, 70, 80 grand. They, they can't get $3. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't sub, you can't see the replay. But most people, they like 85 people went in and just, just connected their Amazon account, which they're already got. Yeah. And they get to do everything free. It's just free. So we got all your bases covered. So right. don't do drugs. And uh, yeah, we'll check you in the next one. Peace. And we're sad. Did you get ready in the dark or something? Cause you look like a beautiful nightmare